Okay. Well, I've, I've done enough. I'm going to pull back a bit, and then I'm going to work on the this area uh, here because then I can I can drag some of the colour into the other areas. And um, just to explain what I'm going to be doing too. To do that, I've got to make this really very light. Turn to about there. It's got a, this particular donkey's got a very white light area to the side of its head. Now I'm going to put it in white, then I'm going to use the ivory and the grey on top of it. I might as well show you that. I want to make sure it's, you can see it. It's all very well me shooting off in different directions without showing you. That's the idea of that. And now the rest of it will be coming down here. Um, and just in case I drop even further down, just down here, we've got another dark area, which is a good idea to put them in if you see them. I, don't, I won't go that far, I should just come down to there, but I need to pull away. Okay, now I'm going to go in again, firstly with 175, to add just a little bit more depth. We need any black at all in the donkey's fur here. It would be too severe. 175 is enough because in a moment when I come and put the light on, you'll see how much difference it makes. And I'll start from, I don't think I'd put too much more. <clears throat> Just here. I'm going to put some here because we've got some light which is going to come back in over the top of this so uh, I'm going to make that just a little darker there it comes 
comes up right just a little higher than where the, the eye area comes, it's just, just here. That also might be a good idea to put just a bit of brown in there too. With it all grey or sepia, I think that I'm fine. Um, I've also added just a little spot of 189. I've put it in here too. Um, I know it goes really well with the greys. So I'm just putting a little bit of that in. Don't want a lot to touch. And the other colour which I use is the 187. If you remember, I put it in again. It's going to be just touched in. I don't really want to blend this anymore. If I can help it. That's nice. That's only a little bit more depth. then I'll use the, the light. I think I'll use the white. I don't go bother with any of the other colours. We've got all the other colours in here so the white just picks up on some of the, the hairs, the lighter hairs. And you can ease the pressure of this if you put a lot of pressure on you get nice bright white. If you put just a little pressure on you just get a lighter or a lighter tone but not as bright. And in here this is also just a bit lighter just there. Okay I think I think that will do for the time being. I mean, may have to go back over it again. Now just here we've got to darken that because I'm going to be putting the light back into it over here in a minute. Be the next thing we do. Now I think the eye is pretty good. I don't think I need to do too much more to that. Except of course we've got the eyelashes. So I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to sharpen my white pencil. It had to be a white pencil and we're going to put some eyelashes. That make all the difference. So let me show you how that's done. Upside down. Nice sharp white. And here we go. very long. It surprised me when I picked it up how long they were. I think that will do it. Yep, let's have a look at the other side. And I'll pull back a bit more so that you can get a better view of it. Well there we are. I think you'll agree that that is looking quite spectacular. <laughs> 